can see some of the new features in 3ds Max. This fall, we had 3ds Max 2021 Update 3, and with it a new retopology tool that you can download independently from the Autodesk desktop app or Autodesk account portal. Here you can see some of the results that you can create with this tool automatically. Let's see how it works. Here we have a scan model where triangulation can be a little messy. Until now we had Proptimizer, that is great to reduce the triangle account, but is not creating nice quads. We have Retopology Modifier with three built-in algorithms to create new and clean mesh. You just need to press Compute to get a clean automatic mesh with nice edge loops. You can define target quad outputs and adjust the output values, but the default values creates already a very nice output. Reform is the algorithm creating the nicer results and can be more time consuming. If you need faster results, you have Quadriflow and Instant Mesh, creating quad outputs in seconds. Update 3 gets other improvements to support the new retopology tools. This is a typical imported CAD model with an ugly triangulation. Mesh Cleaner is a new modifier that will detect non-manifold polygons and the generated faces and clean them automatically to avoid problems. Long triangles can be a problem for retopology, so Subdivide Modifier has been improved. It's adding three new algorithms based on the Launay triangulations and preserving mesh data like polygon IDs, UVs or sharp edges. It's as well faster than before. On this case, we will see how we can turn on Auto Edge on Retopology to keep hard edges based on multiple mesh information. Retopology is really fast, creating perfect edge loops on this piece keeping all hard edges. It's now easier to add details on Edit Poly over this clean mesh and keep working on your modifier stack can be totally procedural. We can add chamfers or turbo smooth over the Retopology mesh that now creates very clean results that will be impossible to do on the original mesh. Retopology can be extremely useful creating multiple levels of details for video games. On this example, the original model is a 12 million triangle game asset, and with the push of a button we can create different lots until a 40k triangle version. With the new Bake to Texture tools we can create a normal maps to bring all the high detail into a low-res model that we created automatically. Thanks to Retopology, now we can model new ways without thinking of the topology in advance. This model is done with the spheres and basically we boolean all them together. The mesh is not really nice, but we don't care. We can apply a retopology, we select boolean seams to make sure that the edge loops are on the correct places and now we have a nice quad and clean model that can be easily turbo smooth. On 3ds Max 2021 update 3, but the form has been improved. Now it's between 3 to 7 times faster than before. And get as well new options. We can preserve elements without any deformation, and these elements can have rotations and have local offsets from the path. Other options are mesh traveling between splines, acquiring spline IDs materials, and look at constraints or transferring spline coordinates into a mapping channel. On materials we get a new PBR importer. You can now select all textures on a folder, and PBR Importer will automatically create a list of materials with each texture associated to each slot based on names. On Settings, you can specify the key names to each material slot. Then you can choose to create a physical material or a PBR material. And after creation, you will get all textures connected on the right slot, saving you a lot of time on setting up PBR materials. On Update 3, you can see Bloom on Viewport. On Per View setting, Properties, you can adjust Bloom Per Viewport, Strength, Threshold, Radius, or Tint, for example. You can see the render on Viewport with Active Shade on Viewport, but now on Update 3, you have a resolution multiplier to lower the resolution of the Viewport that is great for faster feedback or if you are working on a 4K monitor. Update 3 brings a new Max 2A updating to Arnold 6.1. It has improvements on Arnold Viewer, added imagers to add post-processing effects to your renderer, like color correction, exposure, white balance, or lens effects, faster render times in Windows, improvements on the GPU, improved nested dielectric materials, improvement on progressive and adaptive sampling for faster noise-free image, and improved support for Material X and USD enhancements. Spline Chamfer was introduced on Update 2. Now, on Update 3, by user request, it adds new features like a minimum angle threshold to constrain the chamfer effect. On the past, on certain machines scenarios, Ribbon could create a slowdowns even it was not open. This has been fixed in Update 3. 
improvements has been done for better selection on high-res monitors. Instead of a fixed pixel radius selection as before, now on 3ds Max you can adjust the pixel radius distance on preference viewport settings to your taste. Also, update 3 keeps improving what I started on update 2 with improved heat detection for selections. Finally, 3ds Max offer improved protection against potentially malicious scripts by blocking them based on their file attributes. These are some of the new features that you can enjoy with 3ds Max 2021 Update 3 and the new Red Topology tools.